All right, y'all, what's good? Welcome to another episode of Buzz Boys. And uh, breaking news for me, breaking news, the Greensboro Swarm have drafted LiAngelo Ball with the 14th pick. First round. Shut the fuck up. Dang, loud ass, loud ass career. But um, basically, you know, it's been a long road coming to get LiAngelo on to the Greensboro Swarm. <sighs> okay, you know, we know he was on the Hornets Summer League team. From there, he was kind of in limbo. Um, a lot of other players got signed and cut, signed and cut. Um, Xavier Sneed, all these other players got signed and cut, maybe about four or five of them. And they did them um, training camp preseason Leangelo was the last person to get signed and cut that was after preseason had ended already the day after our last preseason game we signed Leangelo and cut him the next day so um you only do that to retain a player's rights if he's on your active Hornets roster your average NBA roster your active NBA roster and you cut him you get his rights to the G League so we signed and cut him just like we signed and cut everybody else but a few days before, LiAngelo had signed a contract with the G League to enter the NBA draft. So because he did that, us signing and cutting him, we didn't retain his rights because he had already entered the draft. So the signing and cutting didn't do anything. He was just on the Hornets for one day, and that's really it. We didn't retain any of his rights. And um, I guess people didn't read this, the fine print. I don't know how the fuck that happens, but... He almost got away. I mean, we uh we traded we traded up in into the first round. We already had two first round picks, then we got a third one. So we picked 14th, 23rd, and 26th. So, you know what I'm saying? Whatever we did to go back up and get that 14th pick, we had to make sure we got Jello because you can't let him get away when literally he's already on your team. Like how the fuck do you let that happen? But long story short, Jello is finally on the Greensboro Swarm. He is finally home. Um, I just hate that we had to go through so many loopholes to get it done. You know what I'm saying? We signed and cut him. Then, he, okay, he's on the G League team. Then you get news yesterday comes out. It just came out yesterday. You get news come out yesterday that says, oh, he's we don't have his rights to the Greensboro Swarm because of technicality and da-da-da-da. So then all of a sudden he's back in the draft and I mean any any team could have chosen him. Now, I guess, you know, saying a lot of teams probably didn't didn't necessarily think he was that good or else they would have signed to cut him themselves earlier and got his rights. But hey, you know saying we do what we had to do, we traded up, got another pick, went and got him to rectify that wrong. Um, so Welcome to the Greensboro Swarm, Jello. Welcome home. I'm glad all this shit is behind us and we can just look forward to the G League season and seeing Jello. Um, yeah, I just hate that it's been so messy. And uh, the only thing I truly, truly have a problem with is that why did he have to be the last person? He was with us all summer, working out with them all summer. He was on the uh, summer league team. And then it was like after that, they kind of put him on the back burner. They don't invite him to training camp. Why didn't he get an invite to training camp? But Xavier Sneed gets an invite to training camp. DJ Carton gets an invite to training camp. And then, uh, after our first preseason game, we cut Xavier Sneed, cut DJ Carton, send them to, to the Green, Greensboro Swarm. And then we sign... Some other two random people, I don't even remember their names because they were literally on the team for one day, signed them, cut them. But one of them actually played in our uh, pre in our third preseason game. I don't know what his name was. I can't remember. But he actually did check in like and get garbage time with like one minute left. He played. So then after the fourth and final preseason game, the next day we signed Jello and cut Jello. Why couldn't Jello have been first? Why did Jello have to be the last person? He couldn't even be on our preseason team. 
and sit at the end of the bench just in Hornets warmups. He couldn't come to training camp. Why? If you knew you were going to sign and cut him anyway, why couldn't you just do him first? Pause. Why, but why couldn't you just, you know what I'm saying, do his first? If you're going to sign and cut everybody else, why not do him first so he can at least be on the training camp roster and come to preseason with y'all? But does that hurt? I just don't understand that. Like you, you, you doing, you doing that last. I just don't get it. Especially like the other two people were no names. Like I do not remember their name. They were not on our roster. They were not on our on our G League team. They were not on our summer league team. They were just two completely random people. So honestly, you can't blame Jello for going to sign that uh, G League draft contract. Because I'm not even sure if he knew what the fuck the Hornets were doing. I don't know if the Hornets knew what they were doing. Because, you know what I'm saying, if I'm Jello and I'm seeing all this stuff going on, I'm like, well, damn, I guess I'm not going to be on the Greensboro Swarm. Let me go ahead and enter the G League draft. I mean, I don't know if the, if the Swarm or the Hornets were communicating to Jello like, hey, look, um, on Monday we're going to sign and cut you and you're going to be a part of the team, da, da, da. I don't know. I don't know if they were communicating that back and forth between, you know, Jello and the team. Because I, if Jello knew he was going to be on the team, he wouldn't have signed to enter the G League draft. So I feel like the whole mysteriousness behind the thing that Charlotte was doing ultimately led to problems. Because, you know, saying you almost lost him when you literally could have just taken care of business from the jump. Like, I don't I don't get that. I don't get it. He could have been the first player to get signed and cut, but instead he's the last person out of like six people. By then he's already done into the G League draft because he's like, fuck it, I'm I'm I guess the swarm don't want me. Like, come on, bro. That's why like communicate. Communication solves all things. Almost communication almost solves all things. Let somebody know what's going on. That way they can move accordingly. But I'm gonna wrap it up, y'all, on a good note. You feel me? He's on the team. Um I might do a separate video about the um Hornets Cavs game. That was a good game. I think I might do a separate episode about that. But yeah, I'm finna wrap it up, man. Post this on YouTube. Catch on the next one. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. All that good stuff. I'm out.